Alright, so I'm going to do a quick overview of how to um, do a composite mod or an AV mod on a um, SFT100W or SGT101, same thing. Um, first things first, if you look at here, it'll tell you composite video, NTSC, TP409, audio, what is audio, audio, TP, why can't I read? I think it's 3601 I want to say anyway um <clears throat> basically you just put in three RCA jacks put it here where it's in between you know these two things and you have it on put a 0.1 microfarad capacitor going into it act as a little filtering cap these are dual mono so you only need one between the two um and this is TP409, which is composite video. This is specific to the SGT101, which is the demonstration unit of the, S of the um, SFT100. Some of the pins are, are a little different, and we point this out. This could also be on some later units. That's audio. Um, audio is also right there. If you have one that doesn't have it over here, you can use that one as well. And on this one, this one was labeled as ground. So you can put it there. The grounding, I just have a common ground going between the two. Typically, you want to put a 75 ohm resistor between your ground on a composite um, lead and this. I didn't have any, so I'll probably put one in later. <clears throat> or you can just not worry about that and solder it directly to this. Um, yeah, just this thing, um, or really any of these, but this is the same as the RF mo modulator, so, I mean, it's probably better to do that, and it's just that simple, um, this, I hope that m makes that a little bit more straightforward if you want to do that. The only downside of this unit is that it's, you only have mono. Apparently, like, some people have hacked some, some parts from a stereo unit into it to make it stereo. But, yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I hope this helps. Enjoy that.